Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for you for January 2022 and I have a hair stuck to my lip. Okay, that's much better. Um, first faves and fails of the new year. I'm so happy to be doing this one. Um, of course, I had fewer videos in January than I usually do because I dropped down to doing one video a week instead of two. I usually post on Tuesdays and Fridays, but for January and also for the upcoming month, February, and maybe even half of March, I'm going to drop back to doing one video a week. I had announced this back in December, but I know some of you guys missed it and have been getting in touch with me and asking me if everything was okay. And I just wanted to assure you guys that everything is fine. No need to worry. It's just that I was not having a really good work-life balance. I was like working way too much and not being able to get enough things done in my personal life that I needed to get done, you know, having moved. Just want to let you guys know that I so appreciate your checking in on me and that I miss you guys on Tuesday. I know a lot of you have said that you miss me on Tuesday and you hope that I'm back doing Tuesday soon and I definitely will be. All right, so let's start in skincare. I just put up my skincare routine video, my winter update last Friday. So I feel like, you know, we're still talking about skincare. So let's start with skincare. So one of the things that I showed you in that video that I'm using currently that I'm testing is the droplet. And this is like a um, handheld device that's supposed to spray your skincare into your skin and get it 20 cell layers deep. And so many of you guys asked me to test this out. So that's why I got it. And that's why I'm testing it. I'm actually kind of about maybe three weeks into the testing and I have quite a few weeks to go on it. You don't use your skincare with it though. You have to use their capsules that you buy separately. So they have retinol capsules, they have glycolic acid capsules, and they have uh, collagen capsules. And I'm using the retinol capsules and the collagen capsules on my neck to test this. I'm not using it on my face because I'm doing a trial on the agency right now. And I gotta say, my neck is not looking very good and I am so disappointed. You know, I always have high hopes for everything that I try and it was no different for this, but I gotta say, it's really not making me very happy. And it's making me feel like the things that I've stopped using on my neck are really super faves that I wanna talk about. So while this is not 100% a fail yet because I am still gonna be doing the final review with the before and after pictures on my neck, I think that I am Definitely seeing the changes in my neck already with using this and they are not good. And so I didn't want people to be, you know, rushing out to buy it thinking, oh, it's a new thing in her skincare routine and it's amazing. It could be amazing. I know some, a couple of people wrote in and said that they thought it was amazing who use it. And if you do, that's great. For me, I find the capsules a little expensive. I feel like my neck. She just doesn't look pretty right now, which is why I'm wearing this big turtleneck. I kind of wish it was less floppy. I could do the whole video like this. But I just feel like my skin looks extra crepey and it has been extra irritated since I started with the droplet. So anyway, it is making me long for my May Love Moonlight Retinal to Hide Serum. I haven't used this since I started with the droplet because I wasn't going to use two retinoids because how is that testing this one if I keep using this one, you know? At this point, I can't wait to get back to this. I love this serum. It has done such wonderful things for my neck, but I get no irritation with this and it really keeps the skin of my neck looking so much better than it is like currently. So I'm really longing to use this again. And if you're not using the droplet, definitely stick with this on your neck and all the other stuff that we use. But let me also give a big shout out to the Derma E Eczema Relief Cream because this is what is enabling me to even be able to wear a sweater today at all with something this close up to my neck and have it not be like inflamed and red and <laughs> rashy looking. So this is my irritation cream that I use and I put it on twice a day and it's really helped keep the irritation that I get with this down. I did try a couple of body retinol creams over the last couple of weeks and these both were sent to me in PR. The first one that I got was this Replenix anti-aging retinol body smoothing cream and then a couple weeks later in came the Versed firm ground retinol body lotion. So these are both really nice body lotions. I like using them both. The price point is extremely different. Um, this one feels a little thicker, a little more emollient, a little more hydrating. This one's a little bit more lightweight, although it does take a little bit longer to rub in. $89 for this guy and $17.99, I believe, for this guy. 
and they're both uh, six ounces. Wait, this one's six ounces. This one is 6.7 ounces. So anyway, if you're more of like a high-end luxe person, this is a good cream. Um, but if you want to save some bucks, $17.99 for this guy. Really good price for a retinol cream. I've been looking for a retinol body lotion to alternate using with my Alpha Skincare Body Lotion. You know, I love that one. It's that 12% glycolic acid renewal lotion. That one keeps your skin from being crepey. It's so good. It's like $15 for a big bottle of that. And I've been looking for a retinol lotion to alternate days with it. And I think I found it. So this one is definitely a super fave because of the price point. And then the last thing in skincare is a fave. It's my EarthRx Bod Pods. You guys know I talk about these from time to time. Bod Pods are a shower bath gel product that was developed by my dad. And they're basically these individual little pods that contain body wash in them. And you buy them in a package of, I think it's like 36. The package is completely biodegradable. The inks they use to print it, the zipper on it is biodegradable. It looks like plastic, but it's not. It's biodegradable. And um, the little pods, when these get wet, the outer film dissolves and all that you're left with is just the loveliest body wash that gives you great lather. It smells really good. It's hydrating. It doesn't strip your skin. Why they're a fave this month is because uh, we're doing a little promotion around these little tins, which are great for travel. And you guys know, I just took a big vacation and went away. And instead of hauling with me, like either a bar of soap or decanting my big body wash, which I don't use anymore, but I used to use into a smaller container to take with me. I just took this little tin containing my bod pods. This is an awesome way to travel with them. It holds enough for an entire trip. I fit like 10 or 15 in there. And so the promotion we have going is that if you purchase two packs of bod pods and use the code Angie tin, that's T-I-N, at checkout, they throw in the tin for free and you get free shipping and you get 10% off. And that promotion is good until February 18th. So we've got only about two weeks left to go on that promotion. So if you wanted to give the Bod Pods a try or get the tin, be sure to go over to the earthrx.com website. This promotion isn't available on Amazon. All right, let's switch over to hair for a minute. You guys know how much I love, love, love my Dyson Airwrap. It's the only blow dryer and um, styler that I use for blow drying my hair now. But for me, the Dyson is a little hard to recommend because, you know, it costs $550 and I really only use two pieces of it. I use the rough dry and I use the paddle brush. I don't use the air wrap part really and I don't use the round brush part either. So in the meantime, I've been quietly behind the scenes looking for another device that would be similar to that and give you kind of a similar blowout with a similar attachment but be much, much less money. And guess what? Finally found it. I think it's a new release. I think it just came out. It's the T3 Airbrush Duo, and it has a paddle type brush head, and they also give you a round brush head. And uh, while it doesn't give you a separate blow dryer or a separate blow dry attachment like the Dyson does, I actually used it just like this to blow dry my hair. And that works. But everybody has a blow dryer, right? So you can do your rough dry with your blow dryer and then get this out to do like the finish and polish. This does just about as good a job as my Dyson at like smoothing and sleeking my hair. It's pretty powerful. Um, it's got five different heat settings. It's got three different fan settings. I would say it gets equally as hot as the Dyson. The difference is that it doesn't blow the air at quite the Dyson velocity which, you know, it definitely, I see a slight difference in the blowout, but in general, I really don't see a difference in the blowout. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I really, really like it. I still have to get the hang of using this. I'm just not good at this kind of thing. I always get my hair tangled up in it, which is why I also don't use the Dyson one. And then I'm like stuck with the thing wrapped up in my hair and I can't get it out. I mean, I am, I've always been kind of lame with round tools, but this I think is really good. And the price difference between this and the Dyson, this is like 179 versus Dyson, which is 550. And I gotta say, did a side by side, 
I can't tell the difference between the Dyson side and the T3 side. So really loving that. We'll link it in the info box below the video. All right, let's switch into makeup now. I have a new love, oh my gosh, a new tinted moisturizer, well new to me anyway, that is a total fave for this month. I did a video testing five different tinted moisturizers and the winner for me, there was no contest between this one and like the runner up and everything else that I tested. It is the Tarte Maracuja tinted hydrator and I love this so much. I actually purchased it in another shade because when I started testing these, it was back in October and I guess I was a little bit more tanny than I am now. So back then I was wearing 25B light medium beige, but now I'm a little paler. So I bought it in 20N light neutral. I do have these mixed today just to get like the perfect right color for me, but I love this so much. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful tinted moisturizer on the skin. It goes on so easily. You can apply it fingers, brush, sponge. It looks skin-like and natural. It doesn't settle into wrinkles. Doesn't make your pores look huge. It doesn't have a super shiny finish like so many of them do. Um, I do powder it just in my T-zone a little bit and it reacts beautifully to setting powder. I've been wearing it like almost every day since. I haven't even touched any of my foundations since I discovered this. That's how much I love it. Except for the foundations that I've been testing. Um, which will be coming up soon. I'm working on the Charlotte Tilbury new beautiful skin foundation and also I bought the NARS new foundation so we'll have foundation Fridays coming up on those soon but the fail product for that video for me was the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing BB Gel. You know this was cheap enough. It's only $17, but it only comes in one shade and it just didn't work no matter what I did with it. It recommends that you put it on underneath your sunscreen, but then when I put sunscreen on top of it, it all balled and pilled and got gross. And so then I tried it over my sunscreen, which also didn't work because it went on like really patchy. Like I could see that you could get it on looking good, but you have to be so careful about where you're putting it because it's color changing and yes, it's not gonna match everybody. Anyway, just didn't love it. I didn't find it hydrating, just was not a favorite of mine. All right, next up in makeup are these little Kaja Bento Stack eyeshadow pots. These are awesome, you guys. I took this one on vacation with me. It was an impulse purchase at Sephora right before I left. I'd been looking at these for a long, long time. Could never really decide which one I wanted. And then so bought this one at first. This is like the neutral one. I think this one is called, yeah, Neutral Moment. And then I love this one so much that I ordered up another one. I ordered the Chocolate Dahlia colorway. So these are the cutest little things. They have a little mirror in the lid and then there are three shades of eyeshadow. So a light shade, medium shade in the middle, and of course a dark shade in the bottom. This neutral moment one is all mattes and they're perfect shades. You know how so many palettes these days, like the shades are just so orange or so purple or, you know, it's just too much color. Like I am into eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow, but I don't want it screaming at people that it is here. I don't want it entering the room before me. I just want some nice subtle tones and these are the most beautiful subtle tones. I'm wearing this one today, the, um, Chocolate Dahlia. This one has a shimmer in the top pot, which is lovely. It's a really super pretty pink shimmer. And then the middle pot is the most gorgeous, like light to medium, mid-tone matte, perfect for blending out your crease. Both of these have the most perfect crease blending color. So I'm wearing this one today. I think it gives a really nice eye look and I've been wearing this one constantly on vacation. They were so easy to pack and so easy to bring with. I just love these. And then I also tried another eyeshadow palette. I was at Target the other day looking at makeup and this one caught my eye. It's Revolution Makeup. It's called the Forever Dynamic Serenity Palette. And this one, again, much like the Kajaz, has just some nice shades in it. They're neutrals, but they have enough color. I wore this one the other day. I think you'll see it in, I don't know which video coming up, but I wore it when I was testing some makeup and I really love the eyeshadow look that I did with it. So this is super inexpensive, really cute little palette. Love the packaging on it. Love kind of this matte um, mauve blush color. I don't know, just really pretty. So some good makeup there. Um, a blush that I've been loving lately is the Honest Beauty Coral Peach Cream Cheek Blush. I think I showed this to you in a video a while ago, but this is just the prettiest blush. It's like a little pot 
of blush and you know you just dab it on your cheeks and then blend it out and it gives such a beautiful blush color oh i don't want to show you on this hand okay wait let me put something over i have a i have a boo-boo on this hand i burn myself on a light bulb in my closet so let me show you the blush like this isn't it pretty What's so pretty about this blush is that it has such a beautiful sheen to it. So if you don't like to wear a separate highlighter, this will give you like a really lovely glow to the skin. And it's so creamy and everything, but it works really well with makeup. All right, let's move on into clothes and accessories. It is still very much winter here where I live. So I am heavily into boots and hats and gloves and sweaters. So I wanted to show you this sweater. Just got this one in, it's such a cutie. I love the black and white color blocking little ring around the sleeve. Love the big turtleneck. It's a little bit of a crop, but it's not a super short crop. But if you wear some high-waisted jeans with it, it looks perfect. I love the color blocking on it. I love it that the black is at the top and the white is at the bottom. Like I love wearing white this time of year, but I gotta say anytime I wear white with like a turtleneck, my tinted sunscreen or my makeup gets all over the turtleneck and I have to be constantly washing it. So I like that this is dark. I like it that the neck sits a little bit farther away. So so here's the sweater. Isn't it so cute? It's just really boxy, but I love it that it has like this little black edging around here and the little black edging around the sleeve. And it's actually got two different knits. So the um, ribbing here is bigger and then the ribbing here is a little bit smaller and tighter. So it's just a really cozy, warm sweater. Great for curling up by a fire, reading a book, weekending, you know, whatever. All right. Speaking of how cold it is here, it has also been a fairly snowy winter. I don't know if you guys have a lot of snow where you are or a lot of rain or just a lot of cold, but those of you who like to walk or who have dogs that you have to walk will appreciate this one. I needed a new pair of like, cold weather boots to take my dogs out for their walk four or five times a day, sometimes in a foot of snow and sometimes in the torrential rain, always in the cold and in the wind. And man, did I find the perfect boot. Oh my God, I love these because they're so easy to get in and out of and they're so warm. Anyway, here they are. This is just the most fantastic little boot inexpensive. I believe they were like under $60. They're fully waterproof. I have worn these in the snow, the wind, the rain. They have a big zipper here, so they're easy on and off. And then the inside is completely faux fur lined all the way down into the footbed. In the morning when I take my dogs out for a walk, I don't even have to put on socks. I like basically get out of bed, slide my feet into these and take them out for their first little bathroom break of the day. These have been so good. My toes have been so warm and they are so fantastic. I just love them. I love the styling on them. They're great and inexpensive cold weather boots. So if you need some of those, I will link them for you in the info box below the video. And speaking of going out with the poochies all the time in the freezing weather, I just wanted to re-show you the hat and neck, what do they call it? Neck warmer. I've been wearing this for a couple of years now. I showed it to you a couple of years ago, but it's this little set. Um, and this has been a lifesaver for me this winter. These are so warm. What I love most about this hat as always, and I've told you guys a million times, is I love something with fleece on the inside because being my age, when I have ribbing on the inside of my hat, it makes an impression in my forehead and it will not pop out for like five or six hours after I take the hat off. And things with fleece inside don't dent your forehead. So it's fantastic. I love the neck warmer that came with it because as you know, my neck, oh my God, so irritated. This nice fuzzy fleece doesn't irritate my neck and it's so soft and cozy. I can just pull it on over my head and then go out and walk. So this is a great little set. It comes in lots of different colors. I also have the hat in just black, but I didn't buy the um, neck gaiter in just black. So you can get it either way, but this is a great little set. Also very, very inexpensive. So those are all my cold weather clothes and accessories that I've been loving this month. I also went on vacation. I went to Harbor Island, Bahamas for a week and Man, did I have a great time. It was a great trip. But I wanted to show you some of the things that I brought with me in case you guys are planning a little getaway. I heard back from a lot of people that were going to Florida or that were going to the Bahamas or that were going to the Caribbean. So I know you guys need some summertime clothes too. So I wanted to show you the things that were the big hits of the trip. The first thing and one of the most important things to take on any sunshine trip with you is a fantastic hat. This is the fedora hat that I bring with me on all trips. What I love so much about this hat is that it goes with everything. You 
can wear it with your dresses, you can wear it to the beach, you can wear it out to lunch, you wear it with your jeans. It just makes every outfit just be like so much more pulled together and so great looking. And it's a beautiful hat, again, very inexpensive. I just love how it looks. It goes with everything. It's just perfect. And uh, it's great for keeping the sun off your face. I bought a pair of jeans to go on the trip. I was looking for something that was really like now and cool and hip. And man, did I find them in my usual brand, which is the Levi's. So here they are. They are a super high-waisted, super straight leg jean and in a really, really light wash. This leg has no rips. This leg has a little bit of distressing. There are a few different washes of these that you can get with more or less distressing, but these are just the coolest looking pair of jeans, very hip, and it's nice that they have a wide leg because, you know, it's hard to put on a tight jean when you're in a hot place. The top that I'm showing you with the jeans is one that I love with it. I can link that top in the info box below the video as well. It's a really cool top, very inexpensive, comes in lots and lots of different colors. Another top option with the jeans would be just a plain old t-shirt. I love this guy. I love this one all summer long, but I took it with me on the trip, just wore it for casual days. I love this big uh, lotus flower on it. This is also very inexpensive, also comes in lots of different colors. It's just so pretty and such a great t-shirt. You know, I don't really love t-shirts that say something on them, but I do like a graphic tee and this is a really great one. The fabric on this is so soft too. Just love that. And then there were, oops, then there were a couple of dresses that I brought on the trip that I wanted to show you. So the first one is this dress here. This one I wasn't 100% sold on when I saw it online, but I bought it. I thought, yeah, it could work. It could not work. I put it on instantly smitten with it. Oh my gosh, I love this dress so much. It looks so good on. It's a maxi dress and it's like all cotton in this pretty green and white print. It's got these nice big bell sleeves, but I just felt like the bell of the ball in this. It just got so many compliments everywhere that I wore it and I just felt like a million bucks in it. So I'll link that below. And then the other dress that I took with me was this dress, which is just such a beautiful dress. It's a crepe material and it's just so easy to wear. It's strapless. So you just pull it up and then it has all these tiers and it's like a midi length. It's not a full maxi dress, but it's so lightweight and nice and easy to wear and so flattering and looks so beautiful on. And then um, I wanted to mention these hangers to you guys because I just got my closet redone. I <laughs> moved in here six months ago and I finally got my closet done, which I will show you in the next vlog video. But I wanted all my hangers to be semi-matching and I love these flocked hangers. So these flocked hangers, I get the Amazon Basics ones and they are so perfect and the price point is so great, but I didn't have a solution for like these clip things. Uh, you know, pants hanger hangers. And I had only found ones that didn't match these and they're really bulky. Well, I saw these clips on Amazon and they're sold separately from the flocked hangers. So I ordered up a set of these clips. See, the clip comes right off and you can just clip it right onto the hanger and then just clip your clothes right into it. So you can quickly and easily turn a regular coat hanger into a pants or a dress hanger. So love those, we'll link those little flocked hooks in the info box below the video. I would so love to show you everything that I wore on the trip, but if you wanna see everything I wore on the trip, you can just check out that video or my blog post on it. So I guess we will end this video here. That's everything I had to show you in today's faves and fails. If you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.